freedom of speech, no problem, but freedom after speech. That's a problem. After you talk, talk, talk is cheap, but after you talk, you can face the consequence. And the boy was beat. Threw something. Take to court. Deny bail, and they're about to judge him. It doesn't matter the human rights activists that come. They lock him up there. Even the woman joined in beating the boy. As she was joined to beat the boy, she fell down because she big. And the leg fractured. <laughs> and they still fly her to the best hospital. But the one they beat, no hospital for you. I feel like talking here. Don't you know? That is why when people want to deal with you, they say, do you know who I am? Yes. Because they want you to know. Yes. And that is why when somebody says, do you know who I am? First of all, I will, I will keep quiet and look at you spiritually and physically. And I will respond to you. When I look at you spiritually, you are just nobody. I look at you physically, you are full of your house is credit. Your car is credit. Your furniture in your house is credit. I now know that you are Mr. and Mrs. Margot. You will just, you will soon die. So read less of <laughs> You love nothing. That's why people say, do you know me? People use it to threaten people. Because they want to put that fear. Watch wrestlers. When they are talking before fight or boxers, they remove their cloth for you to see the chest pretty. <laughs> so that that will bring fear to you. I like watching wrestling. When Undertaker started the first time, when he come with casket and come out of casket, fear will greet his opponent and he will beat him up. But when people suppress that fear, they start beating him. What you are afraid of is afraid of you. You see, many of you are afraid of death. Don't you know that death is afraid of you? That is why he has not come. Death will see your house and say, no, I'm not going there. He passed threat. He will not look at your house. Why? He's afraid of you. That is why you are still alive. Yeah. If he's not afraid of you, he will enter your house. If you lock it, he will break the door and enter. Today, I prophesy I that who you know yeah. will threaten those that is against your life. Yeah. Do you know who you know? The person you know is a troublemaker. Yeah. He said, call me yeah. in the days of trouble. He said, when you are happy, don't call me, thank me. <laughs> so, if you are so happy, you don't need to be calling him, just thank him. You wake up in the morning, Father God, I thank you. Anywhere you go, Father God, I thank you. But trouble, Jesus! You say, I am here. Before you call him, he answer. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you know that? Look at your empty chair and say, don't you know that? After this meeting, there are things you don't know that will know you. That's why I love the song. I say, I know him. Yes, I know him. I know him. That man of Calvary. Who do you know? Do you know that Obia men are more afraid of you than Christians? Yes. You don't know? You better know. <laughs> Obia men, before they attack you, they check you out. Yes. Who you are. Yes. But Christians in the church, don't do they don't that. know who you are. That's that is where they are attacking you. Yes. And that is where there is too much trouble in the church. Yes. 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 Yes.
too much for Canaan. Yes, because they don't know where they are. Yes, yes. Do you know? Go and read your Bible. Yes. The Bible says, if you have forgotten in the book of our Exodus, the Bible says, if you talk against somebody, God will take the problem of that person and give it to you. It has not changed. <laughs> Miriam tried to talk against Moses. He became a leper. The worst thing that can kill you is isolation. When people isolate from you, you die quickly. Have you asked yourself why is it that sometimes when they want to deal with some criminals, they put them in in some confinement, yes. confinement yes. where they will not see anything for like no light, nothing for like three, four months. When you come out, you hear. 